Hey, what's going on, my friends? I'm here just creating a drawing and I will tell you more about it. So I was thinking as we are moving right now through this really unique times and we all know that it can be painful, it can be struggling. I mean, we can struggling, we can... Um, we feel this separation between happiness, joy, and thinking about how we will go through all the challenges, right? We can all feel this. But on the other side of that is this vision of a positive future, which I can see and many of us can see it. And I wanted to make a drawing which will forever remind me on these truly unique times and the emerging of how we are seeing the new planet, 5D world or however you want to call it. I just believe that something positive will emerge from there. And I want to show you just shortly, I will show you the whole drawing when it will be finished. It's a picture of a phoenix which is saving the planet. It, will, it is saving the planet and what I want to, to put on this here is that each of us, each of us which is sharing right now positivity, which is adding something positive, which is like truly giving something from your heart to the world right now whatever it is it can be just a positive thought it can be a positive emotion it can be a positive action it can be a message to <clears throat> maybe to your loving one maybe to a friend of yours maybe a post on facebook or instagram whatever it is each of you which is sharing something positive right now is that phoenix because you know that thoughts are powerful, emotions are powerful, and we are when we are combining these two tools together, we are creating a powerful signal, a powerful feeling, which is actually communicating with all the atoms in this material realm. And you know that physical reality is a, is a structure of atoms, and if we are communicating with them, they are giving us feedback. That's the explanation of manifestation and we are all a part of it. So you can imagine what can happen when we are fearful, when we are scared, when we are uncertain, uh, when we are anxious. Um, you know that nothing good can emerge from there. So what I want to encourage you is just to look from opposite direction look from love activate your heart i'm always saying that activate your heart work from your heart and you know how to do it because i've made a lot of videos about how to do it so you can go and check it out heart coherence activate your heart and work from there because you know interesting things are happening especially right now when many of people are going within many of people right now are going within themselves to for searching the answers because when we are searching answers we can find really interesting realizations within us i found many of them and that's why i started painting you know all those creations which you can see around here that's the reason I started doing it because once we find out how how much everything is infinite how we are limitless uh, once we find that out we want to put this out so also other people can see it we are truly limitless beings but you know when we are focusing just on our environment and especially when we are afraid, when we are in fear, when we are stressed, it's natural. It's natural. Our brains work that way. We go 
outside of us to search for solutions. We go outside of us to search for the answers. What can I do now so I can feel better? Because at the end of the day, we just want to feel loved. We want to feel uh, safe and peaceful. And we are all going through it. So what I want to say is that we will never find peace outside of us. We will never find the right answers outside of us. And if you are researching a little bit of spirituality, you already know that. But one thing is knowing theoretically and the other thing is working from that knowledge acting from that knowledge it means that we need to step outside of our comfort zones here and there to experience it because what we will experience maybe it will not be just a miracle or something you know one great manifestation but what we will see is that we are actually always safe we are always supported by this this divine force or universe God, however you want to call it. I'm calling it divine force or infinite mind because I just love that name. It explains that it is truly infinite. And for me, many times it is happening that when I lay down in bed before I go to sleep, I started receiving, a few months ago, I started receiving a lot of ideas. Oh. I'm sorry for that. A lot of ideas. Once again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm holding my phone here. Uh, so I was talking, I started receiving a lot of ideas uh, about what I could talk here, what I could share with you, what I could paint or draw. And I started feeling that this is my mission. This is my mission to share this information with you. It doesn't matter, matter if it is through art, if it is through videos, if it is through writing or whatever it is, I need to share it. If I can feel my, my, um, my f this force, if I can feel this consciousness, which is expressing through me, I want to share it with you. I have a platform here and I want to share it with you. So that's the expression of this Phoenix right now. And we all can do it. We all can do it. So that's the reason why I'm sharing every single day blessings and love with you. Because I believe in you. I believe in your power. I believe that that uh, greater thoughts and greater emotions can bring us greater results. So this is it, my friends. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of blessings. Believe in yourself, believe in your powers, superpowers. <laughs> and it's time to emerge. It's time to go beyond the system go beyond the limitations, go beyond your limited beliefs and truly experience what you can do. One love, my friends. Namaste.